Hey, hi, in this video, we're gonna see how to load data from Amazon S3 bucket to AWS Glue data catalog with using Spark job. Here, we will have a source data that is kept in Amazon S3 bucket in the form of a CSV file. We're gonna construct a PySpark job in AWS Glue. Uh, so, and that job will be extracting the data from uh, this source raw data and that we're gonna show that you know that will be outputted to uh, aws uh, glue data catalog database and table so in total we're gonna see like you know how we can you know the enable spark etl job which can help us to extract the raw data from the sources like s3 bucket and put it in the into the aws glue catalog glue data catalog which is actually you know the structured database right so in the sense here we are seeing that semi-structured data is now connected into a structured data that is stored in AWS Glue data catalog. And from there, you can use it for any other purpose, like uh, you can use it for visualization purpose, reporting purpose, or you can actually move that data into some other data warehouse services and actually, and you know, do a lot many things about those structured, you know, basically structured data. So here we're gonna see how to construct a PySpark job, right? So in general, PySpark is the Python API. Uh, for for Apache PySpark, it's basically an open source and distributed computing framework or libraries, uh, basically which is help us to you know process the data at a large scale, right? So the speed of PySpark job is very you know very numerous in the sense basically it's enormous, yeah. So here let's experience that you know how to construct that ETL job with using the Spark engine in AWS Glue and uh, try to mimic this scenario and we will see that you know how does the data gets migrated to the aws glue data catalog all right so with that note i'm going to take you to the my aws account here so currently i'm in aws account and currently in oregon region and i'm in uh, aws glue services we are in notebooks so i'm going to click on notebook and uh, here we're going to choose spark and uh, click on the upload notebook so i have a ready-made notebook file I'm going to share this notebook file in the GitHub repository and GitHub repository link is being shared in this video's description. You can find it from there. So for now, I'm going to open that, uh, open that file in this notebook and uh, let's choose the IAM role. So I'm going to choose the ATL Lambda access role. Which is, this is the same role that I have used in a couple of my last uh, data engineering uh, videos. So this is admin role and it has, uh, you know, the trust to the AWS uh, Glue services. And after that, I'm going to click on create notebook, which actually starts the creating and um, uh, basically, you know, the Jupyter notebook on which you can run the PySpark job. Okay, so here the creation of notebook will take some time. Meantime, I'm going to give a, a, a good name to this particular job, say like um, demo uh, Spark, right? Um, uh, yeah, Spark job, for example, yeah, Spark job ETL. So I'm given some unique name here. So we need to wait for a couple of seconds so that notebook gets started and also loads the, you know, the PySpark, um, basically, you know, the, the notebook definition that I have given, right? So it basically loads the content of that file as well, right? So it will take certain time, say like it might take some time, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes like that. So we need to wait until that gets loaded. For now, I'm going to go on a pause and we're going to come back after some time. Okay, waiting for a few more minutes. It started to load i just waited for 30 or 30 or one minutes and you see that the screens are getting changed okay and uh, once you see this particular screen um, basically which means that you know you are you know the notebook file got loaded into this you know the the notebook uh, uh, server and uh, basically currently you are in this uh, glue studio for notebook yeah so now we're gonna use the notebook studio this is generally called as a notebook studio with using this notebook studio we're gonna build a script or basically an etl job and that etl job will be using pyspark apis yeah all right so first one is basically you see that let me go from top to bottom and i'm going to keep on explaining those uh, you know the scenarios yeah so here if you go to the first tab of the you know basically if you try to drag down and and just observe here you see that each there are like a you know each segments in the sense there are like a lots of segments and each segment has a piece of code and that piece of code is nothing but nothing but you know it's a small part of the complete etl script basically so here the first one is just an for your information from um, uh, glue studio notebook the second one is you know basically this is where the actually the 
Spark ETL job script gets started. The first script is talks about setting the, you know, the context of the glue and starting a Spark job within it. Yeah. So for now, what I do is I'm going to run this piece of code, which actually start the, you know, the Spark job. Uh, if you can, if you scroll up above, you have a multiple options here. That is nothing but inserting the cell, right? A cell can be of type code, markdown or, or, or basically raw. Right, the code, the 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 segment are nothing but you know the the this this particular piece of segment that we have selected here. You see that there is an uh, a blue bar which detects that you have selected that particular you know segment in this uh, notebook. Okay, so here this is a notebook. This is basically a code format. So we can execute that. How to execute that? There is a button here called something like um, run the selected cells R and advance something like that. Yeah. So I'm gonna run this one, which is basically you know once I click on this. You see that it is giving me an output saying like, hey, I'm starting the, you know, the, the Spark uh, context or I'm, I'm starting the Spark session basically, right? So, so this is, we need to wait for a couple of uh, seconds so that uh, you see that session gets ready. Once the session gets ready, then only you can start and execute the other commands down the line. For now, I'm just waiting for this to get ready. And then we're going to go ahead and, and try to run the few other uh, commands okay so basically as i said the script is nothing but you know it's like a piece of in the sense it's like a list of commands that you're going to keep on running our commands are basically uh, you know the python code that you keep on running which will constitute a, a complete script here the session has been created you see that now let's go to the next segment so the next segment is basically so this is nothing but you know this is uh, this is again a script and uh, as i said here if you go above and try to observe it a little bit deeper we are actually creating a spark context from the spark context you know we are creating the glue context right with using the glue context you now you are actually starting the spark session or basically considered like a creating a spark object with using the spark object you know you are doing the further you know the further uh, task of the etl job the next task is is for now it's just like an, a generic task that is just to show the databases in the sense uh, this is an aws glue etl job it can interact with the other you know the services or features of the aws glue right that is aws glue right that is nothing but here you want to show the aws data uh, catalog databases okay so for now i'm going to go to the uh, databases you see that we are in the data catalog feature of aws glue underneath that if you go to the databases currently we don't have any databases that is we have a default now let's we want if you want to list that from the spark job we can do so by running this particular command that is spark.sql in braces you are actually giving the sql command this is sql command to show the databases dot show which is nothing but outputs that into this this particular session so i'm going to run this piece of segment or piece of code now so you see that once i click on this one uh, so it is it's initialized and it's going to give us an output so you need to wait for you know certain amount of time so that it will show that you know output here here you go right so it has outputted here that is nothing but namespace equal to default if you go to the data catalog we saw that we have only default database which is given by aws okay so that is the one option to execute this uh, you know the sql code here i'm you know i'm going to show you that another method that is nothing but called you know something like magic shell so to if you want to execute the sql commands against the glue you can start your uh, you know the the segment or or nothing but you know the selected uh, piece of script with uh, you know with percentage percentage for slash small letter sql and then you try to execute the respect you i know the uh, respect to sql queries it gonna do the same job okay let's try to run this particular segment so i'm gonna run this one so now we have run that and it is actually outputting the same format right which means that either you execute this format or or this magic shell for this is basically called as a magic shell format so it is going you know it is basically giving you a same output yeah now next command is basically you no know, you know what we are doing is we are actually constructing the etl script while we are actually doing the you know the walkthrough is nothing but you are constructing step by step next command is basically to create a database uh, with a name like a spark underscore glue workshop okay and uh, here how i'm using i'm using that magic shell you know uh, method actually and you see that my sql query is create a database if not exist and the name of the database is spark glue and glue workshop let me execute this segment again i'm gonna run that uh, particular here you go right so you see that if it gives an output something like this which means that query has went right went fine let's refresh and see if the 
see if the database got created here here you go the spark glue workshop database is created yeah so with that let's go to the next command so the next command is basically where you know we are actually doing the real part of the demo that is you want to extract the data that is present in the you know amazon s3 bucket uh, which is a csv format and it is a raw you need to export that into aws glue data catalog table okay so we're gonna we, we have created a database now in this database we're gonna create a dynamic table and we load the data that is present in that s3 bucket yes all right so let me um, you know so let me open the s3 bucket now for now so where i can show you the raw data as well so i'm going to open the s3 bucket here somewhere here right so now before that um, so this is basically a piece of uh, code which is nothing but again a sql query so generally this is called as a pyspark sql you know etl job like that so here we are actually you know creating a table dynamically on the fly uh, and you know if it is not exist then it's going to create a table underneath this database that is uh, the database that we created above and the table name will be spark csv in the sense we are loading the csv file like that yeah and the csv file contains these many you know the the headers and the, their respective you know the the data types say like uid is you know big int country blah blah right so i'm going to show you one example s3 bucket which i have created for this demo purpose so that data you know that uh, uh, you know the uh, bucket is this one so i have a data source bucket and it has a sample.csc file so i'm going to show you that so this is my uh, folder which i created for this demo so in this one i have a csc file something like this uh, uh, if i can show you so this is a csc format you see that it is a comma separated values and it has a header something like this and it has a so many values let's load this data into the aws data catalog okay so for now i have uploaded that file here so i'm going to show you that how did i do that again if i go ahead and click on this one i'm going to select this uh, sample.csc file which i showed in the vs code click on upload so once this is uploaded you know you're going to get the you know you're going to you can click on that so you're going to get that particular path or particular links of the particular object so this is the link so you can copy that we need that okay now if i can tell you the the headers let's go and look at the headers that is we have a uuid country item type sales channel order priority blah blah so lot many right so those headers are now converted into a particular into a query right so here we are constructing a query with this that is uid big int why big int because if you go to the order it, it has a big int yeah that's the reason so respective data types are being you know uh, being being considered closely and uh, given the respective data types country is a string like that you know sales channel so column names are being given without any spaces as you see here and then finally we have a double sum sum of the format like that okay now so this is basically in the sense what happens is you know it is going to create a table not only that it's going to load the that table with the data present in the csv file so it is stored as a you know stored as a t you know text file location where so location will be in this path okay so we're going to change this path uh, from the csc path so if i am going to copy that csc file path here and uh, try to replace it with that so you don't need to give the file name that is nothing but targeted the csc file name you can give the format something like this row format delimited in the sense uh, basically it's a row in you know, the data is stored in a row format field is terminated by comma in the sense it's a comma separated value and then the line is terminated by next line that is forward slash uh, you know back, backward slash n and in the tlb properties you know this is nothing but uh, skip line count equal to one yeah so what happens is basically you know this is the command which is actually heart of the etl job which actually extract the the data from the s3 bucket and load into into the into the you know the uh, uh, aws glue data catalog table dynamically pointing to a particular database so let's run this uh, code so i have clicked on run um, you see that it is currently running so you need to wait it uh, for some time if you are getting this kind of output which means that it is a good sign it has loaded the data so if you go to the back to the databases let me go back to the databases and uh, let's go back to the databases choose our databases and refresh it basically it should have a table created here you go right so we have a table this is a spark csv and pointing to this particular you no know, s3 bucket you can open this and you can see the you know the, the whatever the format we have given you can see the schema that is being given so it is basically dynamically constructed right so that's that's fast how it is right so while it is loading so uh, it's basically loading the page yeah i'm going to refresh it again 
go back to the phase one this is the loading the again so you see that table over you and here are the schema that we have defined yeah okay so now it's not only just created a table it also loaded the data okay that is how fast it is that's what i wanted to show you so let's see you know let's try to try to do a again run a sql query with using magic cell and we run certain an sql query something like this okay i have run that particular query and let's see if it uh, gives an output for us you see that it is when it is in a in a, in a disabled state which means it is running here I go, right? So it has run the job and, and it is it looks like it has loaded the information as well. So, right, so whatever the data that you are seeing it here, it is not, it is coming from the data catalog. All right, so, right, so basically, yeah, so here you go. So what did we do here is basically, you know, we have uh, extracted the data from the source raw into the, into the, you know, the, the AWS Glue data catalog, yeah. And finally, we could see that, you know, that is the data is loading as expected. So if you want to see it again, uh, so we have Azerbaijan and this one. So I'm going to show you that data that is, is here. So this is the UID Azerbaijan. So then we have a snacks, blah, blah, right? So that is, is basically it's loaded. Uh, we are running this only limit 100. So we can run it more, uh, which is not recommended here, but you can still run it. So I'm going to rerun it again. Anyways, you know, so you are, you are actually running it uh, from the, you know, the, the, um, from the notebook okay so but it's not recommended so you can do it more you see that it's actually showing up top 20 but you know it is it is not recommended to run it here this is only for testing purpose yeah so i'm gonna remove this last line and uh, with this our job is complete so what you can do is you can uh, save this job okay so here as we constructed the you know the as we run through the steps of the notebook in the back end it has actually created a script okay so many of my viewers has demanded that how to create with using the script okay this is what the basically with using the notebook you know and you have keep on selecting the certain options it is creating the script in the back end as well you see that it is creating the back end uh, script as well now you can click on save this job and you know so basically which means that you know you have constructed the job now right like how we used to do it uh, you know if we how we used to do it in the in the in the etl job that is with using the visuals you know you can still do that uh, from here right so here is the you know the uh, PySpark based ETL job we have constructed yeah and uh, you know um, here um, if you go to the runs currently you know we have not run it but you know you can keep on running it um, the data will be keep on uploading it here okay so we can run this uh, you know the job in front of you so let me run this job and let's see you know what it happens okay so currently it is running uh, let's wait for a couple of seconds to get it complete which means that you know, here it will be loaded again because you know it will be duplicate job yeah but uh, just wanted to show you that you know it is basically running right for that uh, case you know i'm just running this particular job here let's wait for a couple of seconds this to go on meanwhile you can also check the uh, the logs continuous logs as well so here you know what is the continuous log is in the, in the sense you know as these job gets uh, you know the triggered you know it will um, you know it will actually by default it will stream the continuous logs which you can see it from this option right so i'm gonna go on a pause for a minute while this job gets completed okay after waiting for 30 seconds you see the duration got 48 now the job got completed which means that you know it has done the job and it is went succeeded okay so the, this is how basically you're gonna construct the uh you know the the uh the etl job with using spark here okay all right so with that note i have shown you the things need to be shown in this video finally a kind request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot with that note Thank you. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.